So let's talk about the Ecobee minimum runtime for the fan. So when I first got my Ecobee, I wasn't really sure what it was. But what I found is what this is going to do, what this setting is going to do is going to make sure that your air is circulating for a minimum of whatever the number is that you select. For example, if I select a minimum runtime of 20 minutes, if my HVAC, whether it's heating or cooling, does not kick on for the entire hour, my minimum runtime for the fan will be 20 minutes. Now it's not gonna bunch those 20 minutes up and just do 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off. What it's gonna do is gonna spread those 20 minutes across the uh, full 60 minutes. So that's what the minimum fan runtime is. Now, what should yours be? Well, I think this is gonna vary greatly based on a few things. For example, if it's the summer months and it's humid outside, if you run your fan more often, what you're gonna find is it might get more humid inside of your house than it is outside. And if it's hot, that's not great because the humidity makes it feel warmer. Now in the winter months, you might be running your fan more as we're trying to keep the house warm. There might be colder rooms uh, than others. And to help balance that, you know, we might increase our fan, our minimum fan runtime, just to get the most comfortable experience across the house. So currently I'm in Dallas, it is cold, it's very cold right now. So my minimum fan runtime, I have it kicked up just a little bit. Uh, and it's slightly different upstairs than it is downstairs. Upstairs is very warm. Uh, downstairs isn't as warm. So, you know, taking that into account. Now, if you don't know where to start, I would start in the middle, right? Or at least in the winter times, I would start in the middle. In the summer, we can start a little bit lower and see what, what is more comfortable for you. So that's all I have today. I hope this was helpful. If you could drop a comment, a like, and we'll see you next time.